hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys today on holy cooking time we are going to make a nice glass of jamaican sorrel drink <music> So guys, these are all my ingredients that I'll be using to prepare my sorrel drink before I sweeten it. I have my ginger, I have it all washed and clean. I leave the skin on because I prefer it that way. I find that you get more flavor from the ginger, especially when the skin is on. So I will be keeping the skin on, but I wash my ginger. I also have my pimento berries right there. I have about 24 pimento berries have my main ingredients which is my sorrel so guys this is how it looks I have washed my sorrel already guys I have about two pounds of sorrel so guys the first thing I like to do is to pound my ginger so this is how my ginger look after I pounded it so I just crushed it basically and I have my pot with my water in there so to my pot I have 10 cups of water which is 2.4 liters of water so I added my ginger in my pot so I'm just going to allow this to boil then I will add it to my clean container where I will add my pimento berries and my sorrel so guys now that my water has been boiling I'm going to turn off my stove and place my pimento berries in my clean container then going in with my sorrel after that I will add my liquid to my sorrel where I will allow it to draw as we say in Jamaica so basically this means to leave the sorrel to infuse in the liquid for some hours or some days before we do anything else to it Just pouring that liquid onto my sorrel then going to allow this to set aside for 24 hours so this is my preference some persons may go up to two hours or six hours so guys because the water is steaming hot I did not cover my container completely so once this is cool then I will cover it and then I will allow it to infuse so guys after 24 hours this is how our sorrel drink is looking so it is nicely red and rich now guys it's time to strain it so we can add our sweetener to our sorrel drink then we can enjoy our sorrel so guys it's time to sweeten our sorrel so for me i'm going to use my brown sugar to sweeten my sorrel but feel free to use any sweetener of your preference Guys, you can also add some Ray and Nephew Overproof Rum to your sorrel as well as some Red Label Wine. But for me, just using my brown sugar. So guys, I have half cup of brown sugar, but I will adjust the taste to my preference. Feel free to adjust the taste to your liking. So guys, once this is mixed well, we can serve it over some ice or we can place it in the fridge so it can chill, then we can have it after that. So this is it guys, our sorrel drink is nicely done, it is all ready. So I hope you enjoy this video. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you like about the video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already. Thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for allowing me to reach to 1000 subscribers. Guys, you are amazing. I really, really appreciate you guys. So I want to say a big thank you to everyone. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for always being here. And to my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining this beautiful journey with me, your girl Howie. So until I see you next time, bye guys.